Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Command Modern Operations. Uh, it's been quite a long time since I last played this. Uh, but I thought I might get into it again. Um, so yeah, here we are with the... Uh, was it Operation Brass Drum? I think the scenario is called. Uh, we are at war. Well, well, yeah, technically we are at war at this point uh, with the with uh, Iran. Uh, we are conducting a freedom of navigation through the Straits of Hormuz, uh, which the Iranians have uh, uh, illegally taken control of. So, and uh, shots have already been fired. Uh, so when we last left off. From what I can remember, we had this big uh, Iranian attack force coming in uh, with fencers, um, most likely armed with uh, anti-ship missiles, um, heading for our little surface group, Sumwalt, led by the guided missile destroyer, Sumwalt. Um, so that is about to happen. Uh, here's the USS. Texas. Uh, we have the other surface action group here with the um, amphibious assault ship. Uh, we also have the carrier George George Bush. And we have a lot of stuff flying in the air. Let's see if I can deselect reference points. There we go. So these are these are the growlers, they are on seed patrol. Uh, these are Super Hornets two seeders, apparently. Uh, they are on a combat air patrol, right? Um, what else? This is uh, this is the the AWACs basically, the Hawkeye. Uh, we have a couple here. Who are you? They're just a two-seater Hornet, uh, RTB shotgun in landing queue, okay. Yeah, so this guy is down to two side, uh, only two side winders, so he might as well RTB then. Uh, here we got another one. Status, uh, return to base as ordered, shotgun engaging opportunity target on final approach, okay. It's a lot of stuff, but sure. Oh, you got four AMRAMs left. Is there any way I can... Uh, any way I can have you not return to base? Um... There probably is, I just don't know, but ah, we'll have him land, uh, it doesn't really matter I think, right now. And we also had some uh, stuff coming up from Diego Garcia, we have the KC-135 tanker, uh, we have a Poseidon I believe, yes, um, and then there's the Global Hawk, or the Triton UAV, uh, coming up. Let's see. See if I can take a look at the waypoint. Time to target two hours and twenty-five minutes. How about you? Uh, three hours and forty minutes. So they are they are quite a way uh, quite a ways away. They should be here within three four hours. Then all of them. Um, oh yeah, this is the MiG-29 that shot down my other drone. Uh, what do we have here? It's the IL-38 May, right. That's an Orion. Oh yeah, so these guys are definitely relaying targeting data to the incoming SU-24s on our... Um, some Walt uh, group. 
which is about to be attacked, I'm guessing. And our objectives were... Let's see... Oh yeah, the Air Defense HQ, we're supposed to bomb that. And there's a SA-6, okay, guarding it. Well, there's Naval Operations Command, another target. These were SA-2s, if I remember correctly, yes. Uh, what is this? Oh, an SA-10. Another SA-10. Uh, and an SA-20. Okay, so we got some uh, capable air defense up here to the uh, northwest. We have some J-10s, Vigorous Dragons. What are these? Tomcats. And I think, yeah, there's some J-10s in here as well. Uh, together with the fencers, so they're probably flying escort. Because I don't think they can carry anti-ship missiles. Um, no. Only like uh, laser guided bombs, and I don't think they are stupid enough to attack my warships with uh, bombs. They, they would not survive that. Um, well, okay, so... Oops. Unfriendly. No, 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 no. Market friendly. Or neutral. I don't want to shoot down the Boeing 777. So the Texas, I would like the Texas to be ahead of the Sumwald group. You're doing 20 knots. How about the Sumwald group? Creep. Now you're going 20 knots as well. Well, okay, so let's... Um, let's manually set their speed to... Uh, let's go 15 knots for now. So that will give the Texas some time to get uh, ahead of them. Because I want the... Uh, Texas to be able to uh, deal with any subsurface threats. We know there are some uh, Iranian Kilo class submarines, so. Uh, well, what else? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about the scenario, and I think I've been perhaps a bit too cautious, so I'm going to try to be a, more, a bit more aggressive. Um, So, we have some F-35s over here on the uh, amphibious assault ship. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Um, so they are armed with GBU-32s. Mark 83s, so these are the thousand pounders. Um, I'm not, probably not going to use them. I mean, the problem here with the uh, air defense HQ is this uh, SA-6. Because I think it's able to target... Uh, yeah, it can shoot down missiles and guided bombs, so... Here it is. Um, I need to deal with this... Uh, this system before I can actually attack the uh, the HQ bunker. I think it's a bunker. Yeah, it's an underground building, right? So I need to deal with the SA-6 first. Um, each SA-6 battery is capable of engaging one target at a time. Although the straight flush radar can control up to three missiles simultaneously. Okay, so a battery can only engage one target, but the targeting radar can control up 
three missiles, so basically you can engage one target with uh, a maximum of three missiles. It says each battery, so this is a battery... Yeah, so it looks like there are five launchers. If I'm reading this co correctly. Uh, Mobile vehicles, damage point zero, what? It's like a surface, it's a battalion, I guess. It says five, so is it five battalions or five launchers? Hmm. Mobile vehicles. Huh. I don't know. Or I guess another thing I could do is to actually just knock out the targeting radar. Or the acquisition radar. Uh, that's another option I guess. To get the growlers in. To deal with that. But... First, I'm going to have to deal with this uh, massive air attack. I would like to have some... Maybe we can get a couple of fighters up to maybe... We might be able to actually... Defeat the attack before it happens. Doesn't look like we are in radar or sensor range of the SU-24s yet, but they might be able to launch their uh, anti-ship missiles uh, earlier because they're being fed data from the Poseidon or IL-38, I guess. Well, here's what we're going to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go to air operations and we're gonna get some of the F-35s up. Ah, uh, let's launch... Let's launch three of them. Uh, launch them as a group. Um, I guess another way also, did we have like JASMs or JSAOs or something like that? Let's take a look, because that would be another way of dealing with the SA-6. Um, let's see. Uh, yes, we do have JSAOs, okay. These are JSOs with the BLU 97B. I'm guessing that's cluster munitions. Uh, yeah. Combined effects sub munitions. Okay, yeah, so these are basically cluster munitions, I think. Let's see if they are anti tank. Shape charge for armor, yeah. Exactly, so these will, uh, these will be able to deal with the SA-6 without problems, but uh, what is the brooch? Um, brooch warhead, two-stage warhead made up of a WDU-44 shape, shaped augmenting warhead and a WDU-45 follow-through bomb. So it's... The weapon is designed to attack hardened targets. Okay, so this is basically a... Hard target penetrator. It says land structure is hard, so it might not be able to... Attack the... Um, the underground 
bunker or underground building. Let's see. Uh, okay, so that's its own category, underground building. So we might not have any... Well, we gotta have some weapons capable of destroying it. Otherwise... Uh, we might actually have... Let's take a look, because I think... Yeah, the GBU-24s. Um, with the BLU-109. Okay, so these must be the... Penetrators, then. Uh, if I can see that somewhere... Penetrator... This land structure is hard. But nothing about any underground uh, targets. So I don't know how that works. Um, got slammers, some 88s. Oh. Well, it obviously is a hard target, but it says uh, it's a building underground. Underground building, so it seems like it's its own category. I don't know if... Uh, but I mean, the, the GBU-24s with that warhead is, are definitely penetrators, so they should be able to attack... Um, underground targets um, I mean they have to be able to mm. see if it says anywhere Yeah, I don't know. They, they, they should be. They must be able to, because that's what they do in real life. Um, just says land structures hard. Well, I guess we'll have to uh, to see about that. So. Whatever the case is, we're going to deal with that SA-6, so I might set something up. I, we do have the Growlers in, in the air. Let's see how much... Uh, hmm. We can only stay up for about uh, another hour. Well, I'm thinking way ahead anyway, so... Let's... uh start the scenario and see what will happen. And we'll follow this uh, Iranian strike. So I think I'm gonna bring up some F-35s up here anyway. We might be able to shoot them, shoot down or... Hmm, got some coffee. We might be able to shoot some of them down before they actually have a chance to fire their anti-ship missiles. I think these guys are... Here we go, we got the F-35s in the air. So let's have them go up here. Uh, you can fly, let's set you to 25,000 feet. So the question is... If I bring up these two as well... It might not be necessary, I mean we have... Um, have a lot of... Um, 
rim missiles which are definitely not only anti anti missile missiles but also they can shoot down aircraft as well yeah so I think we're fine but we'll get the F-35s up there anyway Uh, and the Growlers... What was that? Another surface contact, so most likely a civilian ship. So what is the actual range of the... That's this red circle, right? I think. Yeah. Let's actually take a closer look at the do, 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 do on the harm. Exactly what you have the AGM 88E. There we go. So they got a they got a range of 70 nautical miles. Uh, where's the SA-6? Can't remember, did I take a look at the range of this? Range is what? 13 nautical miles, so it should be fine. Okay, so I'll, I'll just wait with the Growlers, I'm not gonna bring them up here. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with the Iranian attack, first of all. So we'll speed up time, see what happens. Uh, that's an airport. I can't remember. I, oh yeah, I remember. There was a, like a massive flight of fighters coming up. I think MiG, uh, was it MiG-21s? Or something from both these air bases. You know, what I should have done is set up a bar cap right here. Uh, having my fighters kind of blocking the way. Uh, but I think I didn't do that because of the SAM sites that were present at the time. I guess I can... What's that? That's uh, another J-10. So I guess after this attack wave I... Maybe I will put up a uh, barrier combat air patrol around here to block off any any further attacks by Iranian aircraft. Mm. Going at cruise speed. You have lots of fuel left though. So I'm thinking how... Well I guess when I get the tanker up in the air... I should probably move this tanker station up as well. What's the radar range of the AWACS? See I, I think I want to move all these mission areas. Uh, bit further up which I'll think I'll do once I've dealt with this incoming attack I think we can speed it up just a, a smidge got something new contact another bogey yeah there's something here I'm guessing that is also hostile. Yeah, okay, it was classified as a J-10, just as I said that. Um, let's keep an eye on these fencers and see what uh, will happen. Steve Ryan. Uh, obviously it's not here. It's Probably up here. 
as it was earlier. Uh, it's just the radar, different radars are having a little hard time to uh, get a good solution on it. On it. Okay, so these guys are still at 36,000 feet, so they have not started their uh, attack yet, I'm guessing. They're not... I'm guessing they won't actually fire their anti-ship missiles from that altitude, because that would be a very bad idea. Uh, that would give... Uh, my air defenses... Uh, it would be way easier to shoot the missiles down from if they come from that altitude. Do you have a lot of, or a lot, do you have a couple of unidentified bogeys? Let's speed this up a bit. They are definitely coming closer. Yeah, as you can see that Orion is jumping all over the place, but this is probably, yeah, this is closer to its actual lo uh, location or position. Uh, we here we, we have our F-35s coming up. You're going cruise. Let's set you to military speed uh, to get you up here. You might be able to engage some of the SU-24s. Ah, look at this. Uh, they're decreasing altitude. Now at 35,000 feet. Okay, got some more fencers being classified. Okay, so they are definitely starting their... Uh, they're in their attack phase. Dropping altitude quite rapidly. More fencers, it's a lot of them. Yeah, dropping altitude like crazy, so... They should be about to shoot their weapons pretty soon. 12,000 feet. Okay, seems like they stopped at 12,000 feet. Yeah. Okay, so I guess they are about to fire their weapons. Okay, we'll see what happens. Speed it up just a little bit. So we definitely are in within sensor range of the SU-24s. Not within weapon range, uh, according to this, but this might not be their exact position or location. They might be closer um, than what it appears. And as I said, they might launch the uh, missiles earlier uh, and have the missiles being uh, basically steered in by the radar data from the Orion and the May. I don't know if their radars have that capability, but I think so. Well, yeah. I don't think it says anywhere, but don't they need like a data link or something like that? I don't know. But whatever the case, they uh, are most likely feeding uh, targeting data anyway to the SC-24s. Still at 
12,000 feet. They are getting close. We are within sensor range. The F-35s are getting close. But it's possible that we will... Uh, that the fencers uh, will be able to sh uh, fire their weapons before my F-35s even have a chance to fire at them. Still at 12,000 feet, so it seems like that might be the altitude from where they will release their weapons. Uh, personally, personally, I would attack from a lower altitude than 12,000 feet, but... I guess it depends on what type of uh, anti-ship missile they have. I think I see terrain... okay, so... They're turning away, which... Probably means that they have fired their weapons. Or they might be reacting to the F-35s. Uh, no, they're all turning away, so I'm guessing they have uh, fired. Yeah, I'm assuming that they fired their anti-ship missiles. Uh, so we should see some incoming vampires soon, so let's be ready for that. terrain following radar. I don't think it would do much good at 12,000 feet above the sea, but sure. Okay, seems like we have a better fix on these guys. We have a formation of four of them coming in. So I don't know if these guys have fired their weapons. They're, they don't seem to be turning around. Okay, so let's uh, pause for just a second, and I think I'll set these guys. Um, I have you attack this dude. I'll have you. Attack this dude, and lastly, I'll have you attack. Yeah, I guess attack that dude. So let's see if they. Because they are within weapon range. Okay, so here we go, we got the first vampire, so we do have missiles in the air. And we have the F 35s firing their AMRAMs. Okay, so yeah, all look at this. They're all turning away. So we do have two confirmed anti-ship missiles in the air. Man, you are really firing all of your AMRAMs. That's a bit of a... Oh, look at this. Yeah, more uh, vampires incoming. So take a look at this. These are all the defensive fire rim missiles being fired from the... Uh, the Farragut. Yeah, more and more incoming missiles. Oh, look at this. There's so many of them. More and more. Yeah, we got a bunch of anti ship missiles coming in. We're gonna watch this and see how many we'll be able to shoot down. I'm 
gonna have these guys turn around. Oh, that's a lot of vampires. Okay, we're shooting down some of them. And now the uh, Zoom Walt has actually uh, joined the fight, shooting some more Des defensive fire. Seems like the LCSs don't have any uh, rain missiles. Uh, we shot down a fencer, another fencer. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Yep, we're shooting down the anti-ship missiles. Not a single one has gotten through yet. See, these missiles seem to be much slower than the other ones, or is that just an illusion? No, these are the slow ones. Hmm. Yeah, these are traveling very slow. 2,000 feet. Yeah, we're definitely defeating the attack. But we still have more vampires incoming. There's a lot of J-10s around. Have you fired all of your Amrams? Yes. Okay, so we do have um, rim missiles going after the SU-24s. Look how slow these vampires are. Um... These seem to be, well they're increasing speed now, they seem to be flying very uh, slow. Yeah, and we're shooting down quite a few of their uh, SU-24s. Still have two vampires incoming. Shut down a J-10. Where are you going? Oh, you're going after these SU-24s. Okay, so let's hope we can actually shoot down these last two incoming. We should be able to. Oh, there's one, only one vampire left. And these actually have enough energy to attack these SU-24s. I guess they do. 
Boom, scratch another one. And another one. Okay. So hopefully we'll be able to shoot this down. It's going 500 knots, that's very slow. Boom, there we go. So we defeated all of the incoming missiles. Um, still launching missiles against the remaining J-10s and SU-24s. Yep, still launching missiles. This guy really this close? We're still firing at these guys. I don't know if the missiles will have enough energy to actually hunt them down. Only 480 knots. I don't know why these guys are going that slow. But okay. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. What is this? Oh, you're going again, um, at the May? That's good. That is good. New air contact. The MiG-29. No, that's an Airbus. Why is that marked as... I'm gonna mark that as neutral. We don't want to shooting down any uh, civilian aircraft got another J-10 probably gonna get this SU-24, yep so we're shooting down a considerable amount of their attack aircraft uh, You do not have any Amrams left. Oh, I can't check for the whole group, I think. To do it uh, manually. I think they fired all of their Amrams. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. So the F-35s are pretty much useless. Well, they're not useless, but they can't do much. Uh, let's have you guys RTB uh, for now. Okay, let's see if they use, uh, they're running out of juice. Only have a little bit left. There we go. They're in their terminal phase, putting on their radars. Being jammed, but... I don't think that's gonna help. Let's see if we're lucky. Nope. How about this last one? Nope. Oh well. What is... What is this guy doing? Okay, we... Do have even more missiles being fired. Uh, okay, we'll see what happens with that. I don't think they were gonna be able to shoot something down. Oh, what about the May? Seems like... Decreasing altitude, so it seems like the missile fired at the main didn't do anything. So let's see if I cannot possibly chase chase down this May. I think I tried to do it earlier, but uh, I wasn't able to catch it. Let's 
Let's go to military speed. Do have fuel left. And we should have a couple of other F-18s being ready to relieve them. Yeah, got two of them. Ready to go uh, on the mission. I think I said it to have uh, one flight of two in the air at all times. If I something like that. Yeah, I don't think this missile is going to be able to do anything. I think they're out of range. I don't know why they don't fire at this J-10 though. Well, that was the attack anyway. We're definitely, we were definitely able to defeat it. Um, Do we have any growlers standing by? Yeah, we've got one of them standing by. Mm. Just one. Mm. So I might want to try to... Uh, where are you going? Do you not go like cruise or loiter? I don't know why they were going that so fast. Burning a lot of fuel. Well, let's see if this missile is able to do anything, uh, and then I'll think I'll end the episode. I don't think it's gonna have a lot enough energy to. to do anything but okay it seems like the J-10 is going defensive uh, the missile is not targeting yeah there's no way it's gonna be able to yeah there they go okay well so we were definitely able to defeat the Iranian anti-ship missile attack without suffering any damage and uh, we shot down quite a few of their aircraft let's see so so far I've only lost the UAV uh, we launched uh, quite a few of the rim missiles 95 of them uh, so they lost 16 SU-24s uh, Seven J-10 Vigorous Dragons, so we shot down quite a lot of them. Uh, and we can actually see, okay, so they fired AS-18 Kasus, the KH-59s. They might have fired some KH-31s, which are arm missiles, but... They didn't have any ac active radars, I don't think, so I don't know what they... These guys are not... No, they don't have any active radars, so I don't know what their arm missiles would be fired at, but... Anyhow, let's actually take a, a look at this kazoo. Um, here we go, the AS-18 kazoo, KH-59. Yeah. They're pretty pretty slow. I mean, 540 knots. The KH-31 31s are faster. I think they're smaller. Uh, yeah, they were fired radars, but we didn't have any active radars, so I don't know. I don't think any of these guys have any active sensors. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, that was a good one. We uh, are definitely a definite uh, 
victory for our side there, defeating the missile attack. Um, so, thank you very much for watching, and um, oh yeah, happy Easter. Uh, at least it's Easter when I'm recording this. Um, so thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you in the next part where we'll probably move these mission areas around just a bit to um, to further push out our uh, zone of control, I guess, or front line. Because we do have the zoom wall group being a, a bit more exposed now, but I don't think we have to worry much about any further massive attacks by Iranian aircraft. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll end it now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.